What is going on, everybody? There will be no time for introductions today because we get to clown to make fun of my favorite punching bag, the born and broadband new age PC gamers. You know, the youngins that like to lie. Ladies and gentlemen, I am triggered. And I am triggered by none other than Griffin Gaming. What's up guys, hope you all are having a great day today. I figured we would do something fun here because boomers are mad. Who would have guessed? But anyway, this guy by the name of Black Bond, he is a YouTuber who has had issues with me in the past. I've never made a video on this guy, but he has made videos on me, which I think is kind of funny. But anyway, he is a little bit tilted, bro, because he got called out on his bullshit in my most recent video, where I basically laughed at his ass for actually taking my hentai tab seriously, because that was 100% not a joke. And when I called him out on it or whatever, where he was trying to claim it was serious, like calling me a weirdo or whatever, he instantly retreated to the classic, oh bro, it was just a joke line, you know, because whenever you get called out on your shit or backed into a corner, it's just so easy to say, dude, it was just a joke all along, you just didn't take it the right way. Like, sure, dude, calling someone a weirdo is the definition of a joke, but, you know, he's gonna walk us through his logic and reasoning here because this guy is such an elevated thinker that according to him, if you were quote-unquote born into broadband internet, your opinion is somehow less valid than his because because he experienced dial-up or was born before a certain, like, I don't fucking know, dude. This is literal boomer logic, and now in 2020, we have reached the point where gatekeeping literally is about your birthday now at this point. Like, you really just cannot make this shit up. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Now, the title of the video we're gonna be watching is called Griffin Gaming and His Fans, New Age PC Gamers Can't Stop Lying. Now, I do have a history with this guy. He did previously upload a video trying to call me out where he was basically white knighting for Dreamcast guy, but I want to take a look at a clip from that real quick because I think you'll really appreciate the irony. Ladies and gentlemen, I am triggered. And I am triggered by none other than Griffin Gaming. I mean, this guy got to me so badly, he forced me to take trips to the beach, throw beach parties, go to clubs at AC, and sit outside by the pool to relax during my summer days. Meanwhile, he's throwing shade at another YouTuber and Dreamcast guy, only to make a so-called roast towards his tweet response. A seven minute one at that. Now, maybe this is one of those incel, faceless cowards talking trash behind the keyboard thing, but how can you claim to roast someone based off of a response you instigated? Based off of a response you instigated, you went out of your way for that man. I do just kind of find it funny. He was trying to call me out for making a seven minute long video and he's literally doing the exact same thing, but his video is just shy of 10 minutes long. So, you know, I really do appreciate the irony there and that's just a great way to kick this shit off. But let's go ahead and watch this video real quick. It's kind of nice with the new YouTube system. I don't have to stretch videos out to 10 minutes anymore. You can put mineral ads in eight minute long videos. So, you know, thank you so much, Susan. You're really helping your boy out here. My favorite punching bag the born and broadband new age PC gamers. You know, the youngins that like to lie and fraud and misinform about pretty much anything here in gaming on the internet. So, I made a funny joke, or not funny, depending on your opinion. Griffin Gaming uploaded a video, and I tweeted about his video, which has a tab that says watch free hentai video streams. So I made a joke. I mean, you literally just called me a weirdo. I don't really consider that a joke. Like, a joke's supposed to be funny. This is more of a statement. You're more like labeling me, if anything. I don't know, man. This doesn't really scream joke to me. I don't really give a shit, to be honest. Like, you can call me a weirdo. I don't fucking care. That was kind of the point of having that tab in there, is to be made fun of in the comment section. So, fucking go for it. I just think it's funny that you literally thought it was serious. And then when someone points it out to you that it was a fucking joke, it wasn't supposed to be serious, you go, oh, I was just joking the entire entire time too because that's 100% likely dude if I see something that's obviously a joke I don't try to call someone a weirdo because of it so I think you kind of took the bait here bro and you're just desperately trying to make yourself not look like a complete fucking idiot I keep telling you these guys 
are weirdos. Laughing emoji. More specifically, the boomer laughing face emoji. Very fitting. But apparently, according to Griffin Gaming, and according to his fan base, that is not a joke. Personally, I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. You know, if I just call you a weirdo, is anyone really gonna start laughing? I don't fucking think so. I mean, this video is kind of a joke, but that's a completely different story. So what did I get? I got a nice little notification two hours ago. Griffin Gaming has pinned your tweet. If anything, bro, you should be thanking me for the cloud because this is probably the most new attention your channel's ever gotten in probably a very long time. So with that said, you're welcome. And I've been having my phone blow up ever since. Griffin Gaming, last time I checked, calling someone a weirdo doesn't really qualify as a joke, but you do you. Donald Parker, yup, anytime somebody says something and gets backlash, oh, it's just a joke, bro. But it's not a joke until you get backlash. Like, good God, just take accountability for what you say. Donald Parker, you know, shout out to you for having the most sensible take in all of this because you're 100% right, dude. Like, honestly, if people could just own up and say, oh, shit, dude, I took the bait, my bad. I'll hold my L and move on, you know? Things would be a lot better on the internet, but of course that can't fucking happen. It's 2020, and people are more stubborn than ever. Definition of a joke. In case you guys needed more convincing that this guy is a literal boomer, he is actually looking up the definition of a joke on dictionary.com. Like, Jesus Christ. A thing that someone says to cause amusement or laughter, especially a story with a funny punchline. Hmm. Imagine that. I mean, we kind of have to because what you did there literally does not fit that definition whatsoever. So, congratulations, dude. You played yourself. Isn't that what a joke is right here, people? Nah, but this video is kind of creeping up on that shit, not gonna lie. I keep telling you, these guys are weirdos. Laughing emoji. And yet you have people down here laughing. 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 I mean, I read through the replies before I made my video, and it seemed like most people were actually agreeing with you. Like, yeah, this guy's a complete weirdo. Like, he got caught lacking, bro. He left the tab open. Like, a lot of people were actually agreeing with you. And I seriously wonder if people are really that stupid sometimes. Like, I genuinely left that shit open. Like, I wasn't doing that shit ironically. But then again, I have to remind myself, they're following you on Twitter. They probably regularly watch your content. So, I really shouldn't have that high of expectations. Definition, a thing that someone says to cause amusement or laughter, and we have laughing. But according to the Board and Broadband Gamers and New Age PC Gamers, last I checked, calling someone a weirdo doesn't qualify as a joke. And Donald Parker, again, since it's not a joke, so maybe you guys need to uh, download a sense of humor, but... There you go, bro. That was a joke. It was a really shitty one, but I mean, at least you could classify that as a joke rather than just saying, oh, you have no sense of humor. Do you get how it kind of works now? I mean, I'm trying to spell this shit out for you, dude. Like maybe the public school system or whatever failed you, but I'm trying to help you out, my dude. By definition, that is a joke. But moving forward, we have even more funny things to talk about. Anytime somebody likes to challenge or expose these lying frauds, what does the new age born and broadband PC gamer do? They automatically assume that you're a console fanboy. Their sensitivity kicks in and it has to say that you are a console fanboy or it does not compute. But yeah, this is where I want to go ahead and wrap up the video. He just reads through a bunch of different comments, kind of straw mans and says like, oh, everyone's just calling him a console fanboy, even though he really gives off that impression based off his replies. And the funny thing is too, is like what? It's been like four or five days since this video went up. This man is still actively replying to comments in this comment section. Like he cannot let it go. He loves to throw out things like, oh, this person's a no life incel virgin loser or whatever. And this man is literally arguing in my youtube comments for five days straight so just keep that in mind but anyway yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys i think we already hit eight minutes and i really don't want to have to suffer through this video any longer because like i said this guy's on a different level of iq and i just don't think i can keep up any longer and on top of that i am working on just a monstrosity of a project because i was handed a video on a golden platter that bring halo back dude uploaded a one hour and 12 minute long video on me and i'm still trying to figure out 
how I actually want to respond to it. Now, I'm completely open to do like just one mega two plus hour video response where we just like dive balls deep into that shit. We watch the entire thing and I edit it all together and just upload this massive video or I can break it up into parts. So let me know what you guys want to see. That would definitely help my decision because I don't want to put it out like a two hour video and everyone just watches 15 minutes of it and basically no one gives a fuck after that because it's just way too long. So I can break it up into parts. I can release it all at once. Just let me know in the comment section. But either way, I am responding to that shit because good fucking lord, it is a terrible video. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video by some chance, you know, completely random fucking topic here, drop a like. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel a bunch. And with that said, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.